Hello students, I am Dr. Tanmay Vishash. I welcome you all in my channel Tanmay Kim. Today's topic of discussion is one MCQ, the question in front of you. I request you please pause the video, try by yourself and whatever answer you get, write in the comment box along with few words as explanation. I believe you have tried, so let's start. Question is, which alcohol has maximum percentage of keto isomer or keto form in normal condition? So what I have written here, I have written here enol form. Enol means? E, this double bond is in, so this is in, and alcohol OH is called all. So in plus all present in a molecule, that's why it's called enol. Now you will say, sir, phenol, it remains in this way. I agree. So here the qu actual question, what is one to know, which form is most stable for this compound, this enol form or corresponding keto form. So first, let's draw the keto form of every isomer. So here if I draw the keto form, so this double bond is in conjugation, so it will be OH and the hydrogen will from here will be shifted this position, alpha. So this is and whatever other double bonds will remain as it is. In this case, what is the structure? So now I can draw another canonical form of this molecule, how? So double bond here OH, double bond here OH. So this form I am drawing, okay. So this side one enol and this side another enol. So here the structure will look like the double bond there remain as it is. This. So this molecule is called catechol. This compound, the C option is called resorcinol. So it will produce the carbonyl actually dicarbonyl I'll say here one here one this part one and this part another one so it will remain and the third one it's called fluoroguicinol so what will happen it will produce a 135 triketo tricarbonyl compound this is and this is Agree. So now question which one is stable for which case that's actually asked here. Now if you look at phenol, phenol actually all are here aromatic. So here the question is aromaticity versus stability in keto form. Now if it is asked who is more stable between keto, okay so there is a mistake. Keto versus enol form, so actually keto form, K-R-E-T-O, so this is a mistake, K-E-T-O, keto. Now, so who is more stable? Obviously, the keto form is more stable. Actually, C double bond O is actually more stable overall compared to the enol double bond OH. That is actually the thing. So equilibrium generally prefers to remain in towards the keto side. But if you look at in this case phenol, so stabilization for one carbonyl. But here what is destroyed? Aromaticity. So in this case enol form is more stable. But look at what was our question? Maximum percentage of keto isomer. That was the question. So option A gone. Option B. It is actually dicarbonyl agree but it's a compromised intermediate situation. Means neither this keto form is completely stable neither this enol. So actually it remains in equilibrium. Second, this keto form has some unstabilization factor because of this dipolar repulsion. We know it is a 1,2 dicarbonyl and 1,2 dicarbonyl and ring compound. So it's a log structure. So actually this dipolar repulsion makes this molecule unstable. So not significantly more percentage there in the diketo form. Fine. But if you look at this case, in this case, they are far away. So that 1 to dipolar repulsion is absent here. So resorcinol has a equilibration between its keto form and its, sorry, its enol form and its keto form. Agree? Now if you look at fluoroguicinol, it's an interesting molecule. The majority of, majority of percentage remain in this keto form. Enol form is less. So that's why what was our question? Our question was which alcohol has maximum percentage of keto isomer in normal condition? That is actually this fluoroguicinol. Because 3, 1, 2, 3 tricarbonyl will be produced, point number 1. And second thing, in this case the dipoles are also, you can see this. 
So all are in between 160 degrees, so net dipole moment is zero. So repulsion is minimum in this case. That's why it has maximum keto isomer content at normal condition. So option D is the answer. So student, I believe this video may be useful. Thanks for watching. See you in my next video. Bye-bye.